Good morning everyone. It is approximately 4.15 in the a.m. And today is the day that I move into Cornell. I have been waiting for this day for like two years now, ever since I got the guaranteed um, transfer option. And I am super, super excited. I have about 15 million, no less, mosquito bites on my legs, so I cannot stop itching them. So I'm just hoping <laughs> that there's really not a lot of mosquitoes in Ithaca. But who am I kidding? There's probably gonna be a million more. <laughs> but anyways, I'm super excited. Today is the day. I've been waiting for this day for a very long time. And we're gonna head out on the road soon, so that way we're there around like 9, 9.30. Um, my move-in's not till 2 p.m. Like, it, the window's from 2 to 5, but obviously I'd like to move in as soon as possible. But there's a few things that we need to take care of first when we get to campus. I packed everything in the car about five days ago because I was like, I'm not gonna do it today. I'm not gonna do it in the a.m. and I'm not gonna do it like the day before I leave so I get f super freaked out. So I did it all five days ago. <laughs> I'm just hoping that my room's gonna be able to accommodate for all the things that I'm bringing because honestly, I think I brought a little too much. Hey, if it fit in the car, it should fit in the room, right? Right? That's what I keep telling myself. Also on a side note, you can't really see it here in this lighting, but I got my hair done and I got um, like the in-between pieces like a, oh, you can kind of see it here, like this vibrant purple color. It was like a subtle hint of color because I don't like it when things are like too like straight up in your face. I kind of like for it to be hidden. Like you kind of got to look for it a little bit. Also got um, some caramel pieces because my hair was getting really blonde because I had highlights and like balayage and right before the summer started and then I went to Turkey and the water in Turkey is super salty and the sun is also a lot more intense there so I think that also just lightened up my hair so much to the point where it was like wow like I'm getting blonde so this is like close to my natural hair color and then obviously the purple is just there for fun so we have about half an hour until we arrive in Ithaca and as of right now we're just driving through this is what the road looks like right now it's just like a lot of greenery Really scenic. Uh, it's been raining a lot, um, mostly just drizzling here and there, and then sometimes it like intensifies. But it was cool because like there's a lot of fog because we walked walked through. We like drove through all these like mountains and all that. So once we get to Ithaca, I'll vlog more when we're there. Awesome. Hey. What street? Cornell. Kiss bar. Coco. <laughs> <laughs> so we just left like this big gym and they were doing like this huge club fair not club fair but like get to know like different services on campus so we got all of the free stuff all of it like we didn't miss a single thing because my mom loves free stuff <laughs> One, sweating buckets because it's so humid out. And right now we're in the dining hall. This is, I think, Kennedy Hall. With the parents. And we're not gonna move in. I had to take care of so many errands when I came here, so now everything is starting to settle in. And I'm gonna go meet the sweet mates. So I'm super excited. I'll definitely be vlogging that moment too. But I want to update you on every moment that's been happening. So far I went to the health services and took care of like last minute health forms. And now everything's on track, so we should be good to go. So, I'm right by the football field. I'm in this parking lot, which is probably why you see all the cars. I honestly, I don't know exactly, I know like where I went today, but I don't know how I'm gonna get to any of these places. Like this campus is so big, so I'm just, I think I'm just gonna have to keep doing like a bunch of like daily walks around all of campus until I like get it down, but who knows, maybe it'll take an entire year. Just wanted to show you guys my room as of right now. This is my single. There is a little closet, my bed. Everything is here total chaos so we're about to unpack and get everything ready hello Hey guys, it is the second day of orientation. I'm with the sweet mates here. Do you guys all want to introduce yourselves? 
Sure. I'm Olivia. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Raised in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> um, I'm Annie, and I'm from wonderful Long Island, New York. I'm Julie, and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm Keelan, and I'm from upstate New York, and it's not that bad. <laughs> so right now we're on our way to get breakfast, and then we have a mandatory orientation meeting that we're trying to get to. <laughs> we're all breathless because we just went up this huge slope, which I showed yesterday, but that's that's the update. I'll see you guys later. Evacuation instructions. In the event that we announce an emergency evacuation, please listen closely to those instructions. Hey guys, so right now we're at the President's Convocation with the Sweetmates and we're just waiting for it to start in like half an hour so I thought I'd give the update because this is the update. <laughs> Work together for many months planning for your arrest. Good luck, have fun, and let me know if you need someone to run your car dealership. <laughs> Thank you. and new transfer students, welcome. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome all of you here. Um, we're newbies together. As Finn mentioned, I started in April. So we're gonna go through a lot of firsts together. Our first homecoming, our first Dragon Day, our first slope day, although I don't know that I'll be out there on the slope with you. Oh. Hey guys, so right now I'm at the Isler School of Welcome. So right now all the transfers and incoming students are here and I'm with the family. We're going to hear them talk about ILR and how everything's set up. Hello everyone, today's the third day. I barely vlogged yesterday other than like introducing my sweet mates, but we're here now. Everything, everyone's here. We're just chilling. This is Shay, everyone. Introduce yourselves. Wait, Keelan, you already introduced yourself, but one more time. Hi again, I'm Keelan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Isha. Hi, I'm Haley. And it's been a very eventful past few days, so I haven't been vlogging that much, but once everything is like sorted out and once I figure my way out around campus, I'll be vlogging more. But right now, we're just not doing anything. So that's the update. <laughs> hey everyone, so I'm with a new friend, Catherine, and Hi. Shay from yesterday and the day before that, and the day before that, I think. Yeah. So right now we are just walking around campus and we have our meetings with our peer mentors later for the Industrial Labor Relations School. So we're just gonna get some lunch and we keep talking about the solar eclipse because they're saying if you look directly at it, it'll burn your retina. So um, yeah. we're kind of freaked out about it because we thought the university would give us some kind of glasses because they're, I don't think they're that expensive to begin with because like people usually buy them in bulk. Anyways, just an update. Um, I'm gonna try to film it if I can. Like, because I don't have the proper viewing glasses for it, so I think I might just like turn my back and like hit the record button and see what happens. But, um, stay tuned. Hello everyone, back in my room. I'm actually leaving in like a minute because I'm going to go meet my peer mentor as I said before. I'm also, I'm going to be doing a dorm tour soon. I just like, I don't think I'm completely done with it yet, so I don't want to give you guys like a look at it now. I'll just give you like the final look when it's all complete. But, very excited because, well, uh, meeting more people and second of all, the solar eclipse. I'm kind of mostly scared actually because I'm not wearing sunglasses, I'm not wearing the protective glasses. I mean, you're not even supposed to be wearing sunglasses when you're looking at it. I'm not wearing any of the protective gear. I don't plan on looking at it for more than like two seconds or so, but um, this should be interesting. Okay, so this hill, you can't really see how extensively like steep it is. But this is the worst part of my day. Every day, and it's only been four days. I know I'm complaining. But it's just like, why? Why? So I'm with my friend Catherine again. And we are going to meet our peer mentors. And I feel like the sun is Medusa. Like, if you look at it, like, you'll die. Because, like, there's all these, like, horror stories of people back, like, 38 years ago when there was the last solar eclipse and they had, you know, their retinas burned. But I'm trying to avoid it. When it becomes black outside, then I'll look. And if I damage my eyes, then hey, it was for the vlog. That's so bad.
like what it is. Oh, oh well. Thank you very much. Yeah, it does show. Really? Yeah. Let me show. Like you see it and yeah. there and gone. That's so cool. Hey guys, so right now they're ringing the clock tower because of the solar eclipse, and they just keep ringing it. And I found two people here. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Tarangana. Hi, I'm Jen. And I sat with them because I saw that they had the glasses, and then they gave us. We all started looking at the glasses together, like and. It's so cool. Like I took a little video before. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but this is like a once in a lifetime kind of thing. Like the next time it's happening, I think it's like 2045 or something. Yeah. It's a so time. want to share this moment with you guys during a week. <laughs> Come on over. I have to be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> 